Hey YouTube, Greg Treziak here with Pragmatic Works, bringing you a new video here, which is just gonna be about Microsoft bookings. This is gonna be how we can create our own personal bookings page in under five minutes. So let's talk about what bookings is, and then we're gonna start that timer, and we're gonna go in and create a awesome bookings page, and I'll even show you some advanced features that can really save you some time and make this a whole hassle-free experience. All right, you ready? Let's dive into it. Before we get started, want to learn more about Power BI for Finance or Universal Design? Visit prag.org slash greg40 and you'll save 40% on an annual on-demand learning subscription. And you're going to get access to over 100 courses. Now, onto the video. If you don't know what Microsoft Bookings is, it is an awesome, awesome way where you can organize and schedule and manage appointments. You can even share links and allow users to book time with you. Now, this is a Microsoft 365 tool that's pretty great, and it's based on the web. It's very easy to work with, hence why we're going to be able to create one here in a moment in just under five minutes. Couple of the awesome features related to it, and this is just on the main page for the Microsoft booking site on Microsoft. And this is just rehashing out how someone can go in and schedule everything with you, whether this is a parent-teacher conference, or maybe it's a training session, or maybe it's just a follow-up with someone after a meeting. Maybe you're wanting to set up some office hours. One of the great things I like about this too for my teachers out there is you can keep track of these events. That's a great thing to bring to a parent-teacher conference. Say, hey, we've had these many meetings. This is what we've done to remediate that test score or anything along those lines. It's also great from kind of an employee to employer perspective. Hey, we met about this. How have you progressed since that particular date? And it all revolves around working with programs like Teams, like Outlook to create this awesome, quick and easy, bookable experience. Now we're gonna look at our own personal bookings today, but just be aware, if you needed to, you could set up a shared booking site, which would work with all of your business users. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the sign in button here. We've got under five minutes, we're gonna go in set up our new bookings and we're going to have that running and we can share that link off and people can start booking with us. All right, ready? Start the timer, here we go. All right, I'm signing in here. This is just a practice account right here. This is what you'll see once you log in. Here we've got two items, personal booking page up here at the top. We also have our shared booking page down here. What we care about for today is personal booking page. And right here, I can go to my bookings page and I can start the process of creating. Once I do this, it's going to show me my account and anything I might have set up. By default, bookings is going to give you a office hours as a sample that you can actually just use, change it up and be ready to go. That's one option, but let's just imagine we were starting from fresh. So I'm going to go in here, press this plus sign, and begin that process. All right, I'll press plus, and now I'm starting to set up a new meeting type. So for this new meeting type, I'm just going to start out by giving it a name. I've also got this calendar icon here. If I want to use, or actually, uh, it's a notepad icon for any of the emojis. I'm sure there's a calendar emoji in here I could grab, but I'm just gonna start. You know what, let's go with these heart eyes. There we go, I love it. That's just our icon, it seems. So let's put this in as, you know what, I'm thinking about Valentine's Day. No way, let's just put this in as, uh, let's go with a cookie and banana bread sales meeting. Perfect. Maybe that's just something that we've got alongside whatever we're going with. So we're going to go with that. We can then categorize this to whatever we'd like it to be, whether it's blue, red, etc. 
we can add a description to this. So maybe this is, hey, this is where we can discuss our Etsy store sales. Something like that. Maybe we're selling these things. Location here. Now under location here, you can set this up to be a Teams meeting. You also can define an actual physical location. They both work just fine. You can set that up. The Teams button is going to be located over on the right hand side there if you have those permissions ready to go. Also here I've got under 30 minutes. I can go to 15, I can go to an hour, I can set up a custom time. Maybe this just is a quick 10 minute powwow before anything. Now if I want people to be seeing this publicly, I could set it to public or I could go over to private, set it up privately and that will only be viewable if I share it to a user. I'm going to stick with public so anybody can join in. Now as far as customization here, I can decide am I using my regular work hours or do I want to click through and choose custom availability hours. And these hours I can set up and you need to be aware if you have an Outlook calendar that is paired with your booking site. If you work 8 o'clock to 5 p.m. for example and you say hey I can be booked customly from let's go with 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. on that Monday you could be surprised when a booking comes through for that cookie and banana bread sales meeting you're going to have to go over to it. So what do we have from here? One of those things is going to be advanced options and this is what I want to last show you before we save and we hit that five minute mark. I don't want to hit that five minute mark. We've got a buffer time before meeting. What I like about buffer time is sometimes you need set up before that meeting. Maybe you just need to grab a cup of coffee, decompress, think about things. That is for your buffer time before and after. Maybe there's some cleanup. Maybe you had a demonstration, you need to pack everything away, you can set that up. So if this is a 10 minute meeting, I'm going to say I need at least 10 minutes before the meeting. You see that buffer time come through and I also may need 10 minutes after for cleanup. Now we're looking at 30 minutes, but it is uh, got that buffer time on each end. Last thing here is your lead time. Lead time is if someone wants to change or make an edit, can, how long are they going to have to do so? You can set up your own policy here, whether they have to take eight hours a week, whatever it is, it is custom. You even if you want to can set an email follow up and I can say, hey, thanks for booking. I can set that up right now, save those changes and that email is going to be sent to them. I'm going to click save here and What's going to load in is this meeting right here ready to go. If you click through this meeting, you can edit it or if you hit the ellipses here, you've got these links to share. I'm going to copy my link here and there we go. I'm going to put this right here into a new browser and just throw it through and here we go. I've got my cookie and banana bread sales meeting. I can book any of these times. This is what a client, a different user is going to see. And that is how we can create our own personal bookings page with custom options in under five minutes. Everybody, this has been Greg Treziak at Pragmatic Works. Take a look out for our upcoming class on Microsoft Bookings. This, along with many more great tips, are available to you. Whew. Anyway, thanks y'all. See you in the next one.